Welcome to another edition of Fridays with Fred. My name is Fred Said. Last week on Fridays with Fred, we went over if it's a myth or a fact, if you can get a great deal on a foreclosure and a short sale. And my opinion was, and still is, is that it's a myth. On the average, it's a myth. But Jay Kuchek commented on Facebook on that video and said, Fred, why don't you make a video on where buyers can find great deals? So thanks, Jake, and here you go. The number one way, I believe, in Orange County or local markets like Inland Empire, LA County, San Diego, for example, a buyer can get a great deal on a property is at the courthouse steps on trustee sales. And those are properties that are set to foreclose on a given date at the courthouse steps. And the only way a buyer can pick up these properties and buy them is with cash. So cash investors are buying these properties, a lot of them actually, and they're going every single day. They're fixing them and they're flipping them for a profit. So when you buy these properties, typically you can get a really good deal. The second way that a buyer or an investor can get a great deal on a property is the properties that are on the MLS right now as foreclosures or as short sales that need work, that are damaged inside, that need actual rehab, are selling for good prices. And this is the reason why. When a property needs work and it's not in move-in condition, it's not in habitable condition, a bank won't give a buyer a mortgage on it. So the only people that can buy these properties are the cash buyers. So for example, I've had scenarios myself personally with my clients that I've been able to save them up to 20% off the market value on a property because it needed rehab and they had cash and they were the only ones that can buy those properties. So these are properties that are currently on the market as short sales and foreclosures that need work and they're deemed as, let's say, fixers. Now, the first two ways I mentioned were by cash buyers or cash investors. This third way I'm going to talk about, if you're getting a mortgage and you're buying a home for the first time, or if you're buying your second home but you're getting a mortgage. Some banks, like Fannie Mae, for example, I've seen, have had a program called the first look with a property. What this means is that for the first 13 days, this specific property is on the market. The only offers that they'll actually review are offers of people that want to live in the property. So as a buyer, a first time buyer getting a financed uh, purchase or a financed loan, they'll look at you for the first 13 days. And then after the first 13 days, they'll look at all the other offers like the cash investors and other investors. So in this scenario, you have an opportunity of 13 days to be able to have your offer looked at before any of the other cash investors want to come in or finance investors want to come in and snag this property up. So you have that opportunity to get a decent deal. So I hope that this video has given you some information and Jake, I hope you're somewhat satisfied of these three different ways that we talked about actually that buyers can get great deals and good deals on properties. Like Jake did, comment on this video, give us your feedback, let us know if you want any other videos created by us on any other topic in real estate and tune in next week for another edition of Fridays with Fred. Why? because that's what Fred said.